Welcome back our fans. 3. Infective endocarditis, E. Infective endocarditis, E, is a microbial infection of the endothelial surface of the heart or heart valves. It can be caused by bacteria, Streptococcus viridens, Staphylococcus, or fungus. Pathogenesis of E. The following sequence of events results in E. 1. Deposition of platelets and fibrin, forming vegetations, on the surface of a cardiac valve or on a pre-existing endocardial damage. 2. Bacteremia. Strept. Viridins are commensals of the normal skin, oral, respiratory, and GI tract flora, that may enter to the bloodstream causing a low-grade but repeated bacteremia, from repeated activities such as chewing, tooth brushing or flossing, or b high-grade bacteremia caused by invasive dental procedures. 3. Adherence of the bacteria in the bloodstream to the vegetations. 4. Proliferation of bacteria within a vegetation. Microorganisms adherent to the vegetation stimulate further deposition of fibrin and platelets on their surface. 5. When the infection is established, vegetations composed of organisms, fibrin and platelets grow and may become large enough to cause obstruction or embolism. 6. Complications include a. Cardiac, myocardial infarction, heart failure and death. b extracardiac, due to embolism, organ infarctions, renal failure, spleen infarction, stroke, skin lesions and vasculitis. Clinical features. Symptoms arise after three to four weeks of the procedure that caused E, previously called subacute, in the form of 1. Low-grade, intermittent fever and chills. 2. Persistent malaise. 3 petechiae in the skin and mucosae. 4. Splinter hemorrhage, bleeding under the nail beds. 5. Osler nodes, tender subcutaneous nodules on the distal pads of the digits. 6. Finger clubbing at a late stage, enlargement of the terminal phalanx of fingers with loss of angle between the nail and nail fold. 7. Symptoms of the complications. Diagnosis. A patient should be suspected and further investigated for E in case of fever plus one or more of 1. Predisposing cardiac condition. 2. Bacteremia. 3. Embolic phenomena. 4. Evidence of an active endocardial process, plus VA blood culture. Treatment of E. Professional medical care. 1. Medical long course of high doses of antibiotics. 2. Surgical intervention. Dental management. Antibiotic prophylaxis prevents bacterial colonization on the vegetations during the transient high-grade bacteremia and so, prevents E. But, prophylaxis is indicated in specific cases because I. Bacteremia can be caused by normal daily activities rather than dental procedures so oral health maintenance and biannual dental examination would be more effective. 2. The risks of adverse events of antibiotics, allergy, get upset and emergence of resistant strains, exceed the benefits of therapy. Therefore, antibiotics are prescribed under certain conditions. High-risk patients. 1. Prosthetic heart valve. 2. Prior incidence of E previous, relapse or recurrence. 3. Heart transplant patients with valvulopathy. 4. Congenital heart disease, CHD. A. Unrepaired cyanotic CHD. B. CHD repaired by prosthetic material, for 6 months after procedure. C. Residual defects after. Repair. High-risk dental procedure. All dental procedures involving mucosal perforation or manipulation of gingival tissues or the periapical region. Procedures that do not require prophylaxis. 1. 
Anesthetic injection in non-infected tissue. 2. Taking radiographs. 3. Prosthetic or orthodontic appliance placement. 4. Shedding of deciduous teeth. 5. Bleeding due to trauma. Scenarios for antibiotic prophylaxis. 1. If the patient does not meet the criteria of high-risk group, but the physician recommends antibiotic prophylaxis, an agreement should be reached between the dentist and the physician on the protocol to be used with the patient, based on established medical reasoning. 2. If the patient's risk group cannot be clearly determined, medical consultation is indicated. If immediate dental treatment is indicated, prophylaxis should be used as that of high-risk patients until consultation is possible. 1. If the patient did not take the prophylaxis before the procedure, it may be administered up to two hours after the procedure. 2. In case of series of dental procedures, procedures should have 10 days interval in between to minimize the risk of developing resistant strains. 1. If multiple procedures are planned on a course of a single day, a second dose should be judged, standard amoxicillin dose may be adequate for 6 hours. 2. If the patient is taking antibiotic for another condition and prophylaxis is indicated, an antibiotic of another class should be used for prophylaxis. Middle dot it is preferable to delay an elective dental procedure for at least 10 days after completion of a short course of antibiotic therapy. 3. Preoperative dental evaluation should be performed and necessary dental treatment should be provided before cardiac valve surgery or replacement or repair of congenital heart disease to decrease the incidence of late E. Cardiac devices that do not indicate antibiotic prophylaxis. Middle dot implantable electronic devices. Middle dot coronary and other vascular stents. Non-cardiac indications of prophylactic antibiotics prescription. 1. Organ transplants. 2. Prosthetic joints. 3. Cerebrospinal fluid shunts. 4. HIV infection AIDS. 5. Immunosuppressive drugs, for example, steroids, chemotherapy. 6. Autoimmune disease, for example SLE. 7. Undiagnosed or uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. 8. Splenectomy. 9. Severe neutropenia 10. Sickle cell anemia 11. Renal failure. Thanks for watching. Support us by likes and subscribes.